fucking kidding me, dude? Oh my god. Oh, bro. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Shimmer and I'm back today with a very different and special video. Now as you guys know, I usually upload only 2k videos and something similar of the sort, but this is obviously Rainbow Six Siege and for those of y'all that don't know, it's a Tom Clancy game and I'm trying to do some different stuff on my channel. Y'all know I'm trying to grow and y'all know I'm trying to grow whichever way possible. I'm going to come with more videos and try to be more consistent with my channel. I know I haven't uploaded in months, but please bear with me on that fact. And let's hop right into the video. I don't want to waste no more time. So this video, as you can see, it is how to clutch in Rainbow Six Siege. So clutching is a very important factor in this game for the simple reason that if you do the right steps, you can really turn a 1v5, 1v4, even a 1v3 into a win for your team for that round or even the game. Now, I'm going to give you guys my tips and tricks, honestly, that I believe are the best when it comes to clutching, putting yourself in the right position to win the round no matter how many enemies you're up against. So first things first the first tip that i want to give to you guys Keep trying is to these dumb patience for the simple reason that when you're not patient and when you rush things you could hesitate or put yourself in a bad position that's going to just get you killed and it's just not going to look good if you have patience and you have composure you can honestly pull off any round this round the team was doing a lot of run out and that's basically how the rest of my teammates got killed from spawn shots and run outs so i already know after each kill there's going to be another run out as you can see Another run out on the last person. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Like, just staying patient and just waiting, just waiting. Time is on your side. I'm able to pick her off as she tries to come out and get that last kill. So that was a round one for my team, and that was a 1v4 situation. Turned out into a W. It's certain things like that that you can do. For this one, I want to tell you to change your position after every single kill that you get. Every single kill that you get after you get it, change your position. Because nine times out of 10, if you're playing against a lot of roamers, they're gonna go to the last place that their teammate just died. Oh, you wanna rush that roamer. Ooh, that was clean. Oh. Hey. Yeah, ready, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alter instinct. Oh. Yeah, nigga, ready to use alter instinct. Nigga, jump down. Nigga was right in front of me. As you can see here, I pick off Jaeger, right? And then I can hear her run, breaking through upstairs. It was Ella trying to get a run out on me, all right? Now, in this situation, I knew where the last person was in OBJ. So I do try to peek them off. And thanks to some communication from my teammates, I'm able to understand exactly where they're at. Try to get them with the ass charge. And it's just not a good gunfight. I don't have a good angle on him. And it's really not a good situation. So as you can see in here, you have to make smarter decisions. Now... There is the upstairs. There is another upstairs where I did breach the floor out above him. So instead of trying to win a small angle peek with him and for him to think that I'm coming from all different angles, I can get him from upstairs where he least expects me to be with time winding down on the clock. Hey. Four eliminated. Now, another thing that I want to stress, honestly, is to be prepared to shoot someone every time you peek. Anytime you peek around a corner, anytime you peek around a room, down a hallway, be prepared to kill somebody. Because nine times out of 10, it's when you don't have your sights aimed up and you weren't expecting someone to be there that someone pops up. I mean, how many times have we always got killed when we looked away or we didn't aim in or we aimed out as soon as someone ran around and we died? So just by being expected for someone to come around every single time you peek or every single time you enter a room or come around a corner, your reflexes are already going to be there for you to get the kill. Bandit tried to run out on me. Had I just been looking around the room, I probably would have died right there. All right. So just by being ready to just kill someone every single time, it's really going to put yourself in a really good position just to win more gunfights in general, because this game... A headshot can really make the difference. You can feel like you put a whole clip in somebody and get one tapped in the head. And that can all be due to just reflexes and luck sometimes. But 
just preparing yourself to be ready for every gunfight that could happen is honestly going to save you a lot more time and get you a lot more kills and win you a lot more rounds. So do you see the point I'm trying to make here? This is all ties into trying to clutch the round, okay? So back to patience, back to picking your targets correctly. Yeah. Oh, it's water. It's fucking Valkyrie. Bro. I want Spider-Man. When does that drone come out, my man? Bro, I want that shit too. That drone looks crazy. I'm most definitely getting that as soon as it come out. What? Alright. And it's at this point in the video that I want to stress another situation that you really should use when it comes to trying to clutch. Use your drones wisely okay i'm telling you drones are really your best friend and trying to waste your drone by trying to get a whole bunch of points off scanning in the first couple of rounds really isn't your best choice of option they really can save your life when you don't know what's in the next room or where an enemy might be and in this situation i was able to figure out where caviera was at and i was able to fan plan out my source of attack now obviously i was getting spotted by Valkyrie cam, I didn't have the time to look where it was at to try to take it out. So my only source of action was to try to press the room in some type of way. And Caviar destroyed my drone, so I know she was in some general area. So even though I didn't get to actually scan her or pinpoint exactly where she was, I have a general idea of where she could be. Now, luckily I've had a brief charge left with Ash, and I was able to distract her attention by breaching that window, and there we go. By distracting her and making her think that I was coming from that window, I was able to wrap around real quickly and get the jump on her before she reacted. Now, this is a situation on tower where it turns out to be a 1v3 and they're in the room that I hate the most on tower. Whatever you want to call it, I don't even know. That's not restaurant, it's the other one. Don't even care to figure out what it is because I hate this map so much. But fortunately enough, I was able to pull out a clutch at 1v3 and the point that I want to make in this certain segment of the video is using your time wisely, all right? So Siege is a game where time is really a big factor in the game, and it can change your whole tempo when it comes to pushing an objective or trying to get kills. It can really change the whole tempo. So as you can see, there's three people still alive and I only had 15 seconds left. But this is exactly how you should support your team in a clutch situation. Five seconds. Oh yeah, bro. Get that dog. Get that dog. Give me my sister. Let's go. Nigga. Let's Nigga. go. Huh? Fuck this map. Oh. Never give <laughs> up. You, man. Oh, we got two people in this room right here. One's I'm pushing up right now. Bitch. Don't try me. Oh, oh hell. Everybody bow down to Cheryl Murray. Oh, shit. Yo, <laughs> Murdy is my master. And then that's that. So that's all I really have for today. Just another quick video for how to clutch a better Rainbow Six Siege. So hopefully by watching this video, you can pick up some tips and tricks and just better your game in general. That's all I have. See you next time.